Welcome to another edition of Take 5. Glad to be back on YouTube. We are in John chapter 12, verse 9. When the large crowd of the Jews learned that Jesus was there, they came not only on account of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests made plans to put Lazarus to death as well, because on account of him, many of the Jews were going away and believing in Jesus. So you got two kinds of crowds here. You got a big crowd there that wants to see Jesus. Jesus was real popular. Jesus did a lot of healing and miracles, and he, he was a very good preacher, of course, the best ever. And uh, he drew a crowd, he gave people hope. Uh, but you know, he raised Lazarus from the dead. People wanted to see somebody who'd been raised from the dead because there wasn't a whole lot of people running around then who'd been raised from the dead. Matter of fact, uh, as far as I know, he was about it. Uh, there were, there might have been a few other ones, but. He was the main attraction, as far as that goes. Uh, so, interesting, verse 10, the chief priests want to kill Lazarus, too. They want to kill Jesus, and they want to kill Lazarus. Because even if they kill Jesus, Lazarus can say, well, he raised me from the dead, so they still got his testimony going. So, they're trying to snuff out the testimony, you know? Like, uh, you know, people that smoke take their cigarette, and they want to, you know, they have to snuff it out before they go inside. Uh, that's what they wanted to do with the testimony and and the reason people want to shut you up if they do uh, I mean people they want they you know some people nowadays don't necessarily want to kill you they might uh, but they want to harm you in some way to snuff out whatever it is you're saying that they don't like all right if you're teaching things that people don't like, if you're preaching things that people don't like, if you're pointing out truth that people don't like, they'll try to snuff you out. They wanted to snuff out Jesus, they wanted to snuff out Lazarus, and Jesus said that if you're going to be like him, they're going to try to snuff you out. They're going to try to persecute you, they're, kind of, they're going to try to discredit you, they're going to find something on you so people won't want to listen to your testimony. That's the whole idea. All right. If they can't kill you, and most of the time, especially here in the United States, they're not going to kill you. But what they're going to do is just somehow uh, try to do something to hurt your reputation, or to hurt your witness, or to hurt your ministry in some way. Don't be alarmed. And, and remember, okay, who are the people that are going to be doing this to you? It says here, the chief priests. So it's always this group of people. Now you read chief priests, Pharisees, Sadducees, teachers of the law. Okay. It's the religious, prideful leaders. That trifecta. Those three. First of all, they're leaders. They're recognized leaders in the church. Secondly, they're religious. Alright? They have some kind of tradition or something like that that they're known for, that they've, they've always done. So, they're, they're recognized leaders in the church, and they're religious, and they're prideful. You can't approach them. They don't listen to anything. Uh, that's the trifecta. When you get that three combined in the same person, that person's going to be opposing you if you're on God's side. Just count it. Just count it. All right? They're going to be opposing you. So uh, pray for your leaders. Pray that they'll be humble. Pray that they'll get out of the tradition, religion, and that's what I'm talking about there. And you might be able to have a, a chance with them. But as for you, don't let them stop you, okay? Jesus didn't let these guys stop him. The only time that he let them stop him was when it was the Father's will for him to be crucified. And that was just for three days. Then he rose from the dead. And, of course, his disciples since then have done way more than he ever did in those three years he was here on earth anyway. Uh, and as far as I know, they never uh, got Lazarus uh, either. Of course, he did die eventually, but he's in heaven. So... I went way over. Uh, well, no, I haven't. I'm still under five minutes, but that didn't cover a lot. But that's enough for today. Just don't let them stop you. If you've got a testimony, you keep telling it. If you've got a great idea, you keep doing it. Don't let religious, prideful leaders stop you. All right? And you come back tomorrow for the next edition of Take Five.